The problem of nuclear waste disposal is one that is going to haunt us for the next 10,000 plus years, and the government asked artists, geologists, and other scientists to try to come up with a solution to prevent people from settling on nuclear waste dumps. The most potent nuclear waste can actually persist and be dangerous for a million years. Yes, one million years, potentially long after any of our current civilizations are gone. You may have heard that little critters like Geobacter can neutralize the waste, but that's not actually true. Geobacter can solidify it and prevent it from seeping into the groundwater, but all those dangerous minerals are still going to continue to exist. Given thousands and perhaps hundreds of thousands of years, erosion is going to start making that stuff come up to the surface. One of the major considerations was symbols that we could use, but symbols have changed their meanings over decades and then hundreds of years, like the Jolly Roger. Previously, things like skulls and crossbones were dangerous, but today we see them on backpacks and clothing. So how could we know if symbols, like our symbols for radiation, are going to continue to be identified as dangerous? Here's an artist's depiction of something that we could have up that would potentially tell future civilizations that the area is not good to be at. Other considerations were unfriendly architecture. but. We don't know if an ancient civilization's unfriendly architecture could end up being a tourist trap all in its own. Here's a map of the current nuclear facilities that we have in the United States right now. Right now, some of those facilities are overflowing and no one quite knows where to put that waste. It's also not just radiation that we're concerned about, it's lots of hazardous chemicals that we don't quite know what to do with. Until then, we might continue to just put them underground and call it somebody else's problem.